mergers and acquisitions are supposed to be about dollars and cents, Lucy. But there's a pattern in Australia where they turn out to be about egos. Yes, today we have another example of that. Uh, Woolworths in South Africa has had a bid in for David Jones, the department store in Australia, since April. Uh, they bid 2.2 billion at that time. Uh, and it was disclosed in the middle of June that Solomon Liu, who is a rag trader in Australia, billionaire, uh, has accumulated a nearly 10% stake in David Jones, mm. uh, a, a blocking stake. And there's history here because he already owns 12% of Country Road, which is another uh, Australian clothing store in, um, that Woolworth owns 88% of. So, so Solomon Liu has been blocking that consol consolidation of that company right. for 17 years. So if you don't pay me to get out of Country Road, I'm not getting out of David Jones. That's pretty much what it comes down to, yes. All right, let's, before getting to that topic, let's take a step back and talk about the industrial logic of the deal itself. Does it make sense for Woolworth to be buying David Jones? There's an ocean in between them, right? We're talking about South Africa and Australia. Well, we are talking about the same hemisphere, which is mm. a, an advantage. You know, they're both, they're both seasons at the same time, and that's one of the arguments that Woolworths makes, which I think is, a, which is justifiable. It's a plausible uh, argument. But the Australian retail sector has been suffering for some time. Uh, David Jones saw peak margins in 2007 at 10%, and that was extremely flattered by a strong Australian dollar, which mm. kept their cost base low. Uh, subsequently, you know, current margins are half of those levels. They, they plummeted in 2012 on, on online competition. So are they picking this thing up at a bargain price as a result? I would not say that the 22 times that they're paying on the April number is a particularly bargain price. And now they're paying an extra two million for the country road stake to get Solomon Liu out two, of the way. 200 million. 200 million. So we have, we we're anticipating maybe some synergies and so forth, but we're paying a big fat premium and a big fat multiple of earnings for these All things. told, the premium's coming to about $700 million and, and the multiple's about 24 times if you count. So I'm sitting here, I'm a Woolworth investor and I see a pr the premium my, my company is paying for a set of assets increasing because somebody has gotten in the way, somebody who stands to profit from these transactions much more than I do. Is this fair? It doesn't look particularly fair. The David Jones, the other David Jones shareholders, it's not so much the Woolworth shareholders, mm. but the David Jones shareholders are not going to be receiving the same benefit as Solomon Liu, who's going to be getting bought out of Country Road at, at almost four times the price that was first traded this year. Uh, it just, it seems incredibly unfair to the existing David Jones shareholders. This is why I never leave the Northern Hemisphere. Thank Sensible. you, Lucy.